grand old partisan, celebrates more than 17 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute Joseph Rittner, born to German-speaking farmers in Pennsylvania, March 25th, 1780. Attending school only six months, he learned English and educated himself by reading on his own. After army service during the War of 1812, he worked as a county road supervisor. Rittner served six terms in the State House and several years was Speaker. In 1835, he won the governorship after losing twice. This political ally of civil rights champion Thaddeus Stevens steadfastly opposed slavery, as his inaugural address made clear. Quote, opposition to slavery at home, which by the blessing of Providence has been rendered ineffectually, opposition to the admission into the Union of new slaveholding states, and opposition to slavery in the District of Columbia, the very hearth and domestic abode of the national honor, have ever been and are the cherished doctrines of our state. His administration deserves praise. Rittner defeated a Democrat attempt to abolish free public schools. Instead, he took pride in the number of public elementary schools increasing from fewer than 800 to more than 5,000, and of public secondary schools up from 16 to 38. He signed a law chartering a state infrastructure bank after President Andrew Jackson ended the second bank of the United States. Years later, President Zachary Taylor of the Whig Party nominated him for director of the U.S. Mint. Rittner helped establish the Pennsylvania GOP. At the 1856 Republican National Convention, he urged fellow delegates to, quote, take strong opposition to the extension of slavery and vowed, quote, to put his shoulder to the wheel and do all he could for freedom. Joseph Rittner was eulogized as, quote, a symbol of the common man, rising from poverty to governor. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.